Hey, it's the Rec Show podcast, and uh, every week we're trying to kind of catch up with an old radio buddy, somebody I worked with in radio, somebody who's still doing radio, maybe they're doing internet radio. Can you imagine such a thing? I can't imagine. Mr. Bud Cress is with Hi, us today. Yeah. Hello, worked, Rex. Yeah, it's great it's to, see to see you. Us. We worked, what, at Y92 we worked at uh, Y92 together? Y92 together. Yeah. We yeah. also worked in the same building in 1440. Yeah, Wayne, yeah, yeah. Which, uh, uh, probably a good portion of us all. Yeah. <laughs> if you, if yeah. you didn't come through that yeah. building, you weren't in radio. <laughs> yeah, Bud has his own radio station online, and uh, he's letting me play a part, a small part, on his station, which is a great sounding station. If you grew up in the 70s or 80s, it's called That 70s Channel. It's and on the Live 365 app. Uh, Live 365, also the TuneIn apps, and you can hear us worldwide. Right, yeah. At live app. <laughs> at, <laughs> at live. At, you can hear us at, live. Uh, um, at... Uh, that70schannel.com. <laughs> right. And there's a Facebook page and Instagram page and, and all that. And if, if you kind of grew up in Sacramento uh, and listening to the radio or Northern California, um, you're going to hear a lot of DJs on his channel who you probably heard on the radio on, on some local radio station. That is correct. That's yeah. And correct. so, I mean, uh, last week we had our buddy J.D. Chandler on. He does the morning show. He does the morning show. We have Susan Miller. Right. Susan was at Y92. And, yeah. And uh, also... The fabulous smooth jazz. That yeah, and also has jazz done traffic jazz. reports for many, many years. years. Yeah, yeah. We have some Bob Stevenson who worked right. up at K High for many, many years in right. KNCO up in Nevada City, Grass Valley. Right. Um, and then, of course, uh, Chewy. Yeah, uh, Chewy. Yeah, who I worked with at Cool 101. At cool yeah. 101. So yeah. he's with us. And uh, and Michael Rivers, who was at Y92. Yeah. I can tell community. you a story about Michael Rivers. I don't know if Michael has told you this story. Uh, we go back to Kasumnas River College before yes. we were really even kind of starting. Yeah, radio. I, I heard that. Yeah, yes. Yeah, As a matter of fact, we all started yeah. a little bit at Kasumnas <laughs> River College. Yeah, exactly. You know? And so I've known. Michael now for what probably thirty years or more. I mean, uh, yeah, and then we both got into radio and at various stations. But uh, yeah, he's uh, he's doing the music, right? Is he doing the music? He basically is assisting me with the music. That's yeah. right. It basically is the um, he knows it so incredibly well. He has done yeah. such a wonderful job with it, and what he's done is just basically fine tuned it. Right. And I'm going to ask a favor, and I don't even know if it can be done. Yeah, I, I'm a huge Elvis Presley fan in the 70s. I, I love the 50s because Elvis was was a rebel, and I love the 60s because of some of the movie songs. But the 70s, there's some good Elvis stuff. Oh. And I know we're playing like Burn in Love, right? I think we're playing Burn in Love. And there's a couple of, there's that one song that also um, Tom Jones covered. Right, right. Yeah, Tom I, Jones originally. Yeah, played. yeah, yeah. Well, Tom and, Jones and him were good and, buddies, and right? And Elvis yeah. covered it. Yeah, yeah. And why wasn't that a, a yeah, huge, yeah. giant hit? Well, see, I, Elvis's last album, which is the album that came out right as he died, mm -hmm. Moody Blues, which was on a blue vinyl record. I know right. my, my parents got it when I was a kid growing up. And and, and I love that album uh, because you got Moody Blues way down, which I think was a phenomenal yeah, song, phenomenal yeah. song. But uh, that's just me because I'm a huge Elvis fan. But uh, well, the we're music's sounding great. The music is sounding great. and uh, it's, all you know, your, it's all the biggest hits of the 70s. Yeah. And, and more. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. And I think you guys are doing a great job. The 70s musically were a real interesting decade. Oh, it's it's everything. Pop, yeah. rock, soul, yeah. country, disco. Right. Yeah. I mean, there was a, a mixture and, a, and yeah. everything. And what I've done is just basically find the very best of it. Right. And that's what we play all the time. And then, oh, totally. of course, we have those Oh Wow songs. Yeah. The ones you remember. Like, yeah. I think I love you by the Partridge family. <laughs> David Cassidy, or, yeah. <laughs> or basically your Sean Cassidy's right. uh, Do Run Run. Or, yeah. uh, right, right. Or uh, what was the other one that's always there? Oh, Afternoon Delight yeah. <laughs> by the Starland Vocal Band. Right, Ooh. which uh, Will Ferrell made you know, made oh, that yeah. an Anchorman or something, made that kind of like <laughs> popular again. But I think the thing is, is you guys are doing a phenomenal job with the music. Thank you. You know, and, and it's really a time machine. You know, it kind of takes you back. If I, I grew up in Chico, California, which isn't that far I from love here. Chico. Yeah, grew up in Chico in the 70s. And, and to me, it sounds like a radio station in Chico I would have heard as I was growing up. And so musically, it's just like it takes you back. I, I just and, think it's really you know, cool. We have a, it's, a very up, it's very always forward. It's a top 40 style approach. Right. And wonderful jingles and all the other neat yeah, things that yeah. we need to have to make a station come alive. And that's right. really what it was all about. You want to hear the story about it? Yeah, I would love to. You've had it going for, what, like 17 years? Or right? 18 years. 18 years. It's I said almost next, 20 the next other year day. Next year will be 19. Wow. It, it really, it all started around 2000. It all okay. started in that in those studios at Y92 and oh, wow. Cool 101. 
right. you know, our buddies Jay, Jay Arnold and right. Steve Michaels, we right. all started talking together okay. one night about, yeah. what about this thing called internet radio? Right, okay. right, right. And I went, well, let's check it out. So uh -huh. I went to work the next day uh -huh. and I asked my guys at, at, at work, my student assistants, what is this thing about internet radio? Oh, they have a thing called Live 365. Okay. So yeah. Live 365, they, as a matter of fact, Ken said, I have this station I'm not using. Okay, fine. So that's oh, when oh. I started from 297, which is oh. the original Live, 3, Live 365. Okay. And uh, for the first couple, this is in 2000 now. Right, right. It's a while back. Yeah. And in the year 2002 is when I decided, well, why don't I do something? Uh -huh. So I had a that Have a Nice Day collection. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, songs yeah, yeah, yeah. That my good friend El Elvin Ichimama gave. He used to look oh. at the concept productions. Oh, yeah, yeah. Concept. I remember concept productions, yeah. And uh, so um, we took that, and that was the the, the heart of that 70s sure, channel. Sure, sure. And we started it. I talked to Michael. Hey, what do you think of, I want Bud 70s. No, I didn't. Right, right. You know, 70s. I, I like channel. Right, right. I like 70s channel. And nice. then Michael popped up and said that. Wow, there you go. To, to basically go after, you know, the right. TV show at the time. Right. That 70s channel. So right. I looked it up to see if anybody was using it. Nope, nobody was using nice. it. So I went, yeah, that's the name of the station. Wow. And that started in 2002. And then, then in around 2003, 2004 is when I got serious. Okay. And then that's when I talked to Michael. And yeah. Michael, we started doing the research. Oh, and wow. pulling the research and, list, and not playing what I wanted to play. Right, right. Playing what you wanted to hear. Wow. Well, I mean, that, you know, that's a great story because, I mean, you, you know, first it becomes kind of a hobby, right? Right. And then it becomes something a little more serious and you're like, hey, I'm going to really play the hits that people want to hear from the 70s. We're really going to find out what people want to hear. And I mean, that, that to me is, is a, a complete involvement uh, of, of kind of that story of, of, and now look where you are. I mean, you've oh, got a, it's, it's a full air staff it's, and I mean, really, this station, you have to check it out. Live 365, it sounds as good as any station you're going to hear. That's 70channel.com. Uh, yeah. And an offshoot of that right. happened in 2011, which was after my, my mother passed away. Uh -huh. I said, you know, I had another little station that I was playing with at Live 365, and he mm -hmm. said, why don't we play Christmas? Yeah, yeah. And that's exactly what I did. I started right. that Christmas channel. Right. Of course, Terrific. Why, yeah. 70 channel, why not that Christmas <laughs> yeah, channel? Exactly. But and, two nice niches, right? Christmas, correct. I mean, yeah, exactly. you've got people that, you know, are looking for that music, especially the holidays come on. You've got people that love Christmas music. And that 70s, it's really hard to find a station anywhere that just plays 70s. Exactly. And so that's a nice niche for mm -hmm. folks that grew up in the and 70s you know, and I, 80s. I, I really stay in the 70s. Now, we have... We have went into the early, very early 80s, 1980 and right. 69 too. Right. But basically it's the hardest. Well, that's the more that and more, exactly. right? That's that's covered, exactly. that's covered. And exactly. so, I mean, what a great station that you put together. And uh, I love listening to it even even when I'm not on doing, I do the night show, I have fun doing the night show. At as, seven to midnight uh, yeah. Pacific time. Yeah, yeah, and, and having fun just, you know, Talking to folks and, and playing some of the songs you remember, and maybe there's some stories about some of the artists or something going on. The other day we had uh, '70s candy bars that are no longer around, right? Right. Like candy bars we grew up with, uh, uh, the Peter. Uh, I can't remember the full name of the candy bar, but Peter something. It was like an almond joy. Yeah. Yeah. And and so talking about candy bars or some of the top cop what TV is, shows. What is your favorite candy bar? Favorite candy bar probably a Cadbury. Right? Cadbury? Yeah, are you a Cadbury guy? I am a Rocky Road fan. Okay, Rocky Road. Rocky Roads are still made by hand in San Francisco. So really? That, Did not know that. Yes, yeah. well, they still there are. There you go. That's... But if you can find them, right. I, yeah, I used yeah. to find them at Fry's. Okay. But uh, they don't have them anymore. Is Fry's even in business? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Who knows? Who knows? But uh, uh, and so you know, we try to find some wacky stories about stuff that happened in the seventies and and have some fun with that. But uh, you know, uh, I, I think it it's a great station, and uh, Thank you, you know, it's friend. just fun to to play a small part and and play radio. You know, exactly. play radio. So uh, that's great. The other thing is, is uh, we were also talking about that Christmas Channel, and now since it's the Christmas right. season, holiday I'd season, I'd like to welcome welcome everybody over to that Christmas Channel. Right. Again, it's another. 
offshoot of that 70s channel, but we're right. playing the biggest hits of Christmas right. and more. So how folks find that is they go to that 70s channel.com. Right. And there's a link on there for that, that Christmas, Christmas channel. channel. That's and correct. then you just click on that and you're going to have Christmas music 24 uh, seven exactly. through the, through the holidays at least. Exactly. So, yeah. it, it was kind of, kind of exciting last year, the station served and, and, uh, over 2 million people came in wow. came to listen. Whoa, wow. Yeah. yeah. It, it's, it's, well, I mean, remember when we were at Y92 and, and they always kind of went Christmas music for a while, yeah. right? Oh, I, yeah. I got a great story. Oh, you do? I you have do? a great, oh, great okay. story. Okay, I that. love it. I love it. I'll always remember the day I was working with uh, Brad Waldo, who was our, our program. Yeah, I remember Brad well. Yeah. Wonderful yeah. guy. Yeah. Great guy. Had a lot of fun working and, with Brad. And uh, I had more fun working with Brad. It, it was great. Yeah. So one day he walks in. I, I was in the studio about uh -huh. three o'clock in the afternoon. I think Dana was there and, and all the all, everybody right. was all there. And uh, Brad walks in and says, Monday morning, this is on a Friday, because right. I came in to track my shows. Sure. We're going 24-hour Christmas. We're going to oh, go 24-7 nice. Christmas. No. <laughs> And I'll never forget Paul and Phil. They were not happy. <laughs> oh, they were. They were like, no, no. Yeah, my thing is I've always had mixed feelings about it because I've worked at a couple stations that have done that. And my philosophy is always this. Play a couple Christmas songs an hour. Hold on to your format or whatever you're known for. You know, if you're an oldie station, if you're a, 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 an AC station, a soft AC station. Uh, because I think you can do it with two songs an hour and that's enough. And, but... A lot of stations these days flip total Christmas. Oh, they're, almost and, everything is all yeah, Christmas. Yeah. But guess what? That what? year, Y92 went straight up completely. Right. Yeah, I remember. Blew, I think I was there. Yeah, yeah you yeah. were there. It blew yeah. everybody yeah. out of the water, yeah. and it was extremely great. And uh, and they were, you know, I'm sitting there. They're saying, I heard, I, and I said, yes. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes. You know, and, and, and the truth be of the matter is I've always loved it when I'm on stations that are playing Christmas music. I was on The Fish. I was on Y92, and I think there was a couple others is for me it's so easy to be relatable in that format oh, because all you're talking about is basically the holiday right you're talking about hey you're doing some christmas shopping hey you're in the old days you're trying to find a parking spot at the mall and you know you got the tree and stuff and so to me i really liked it because it was super serving an audience that was there for the christmas music for the the seasonal feel good right yeah as a matter yeah. of fact we're going to be doing a contest on um, on that christmas channel alone along with live 365 mm -hmm. Giving you your favorite Christmas song. We're, so we're going to do it March Madness type style. Oh wow! So it's, right, right, and right. And vote yeah. on stuff, and they asked me for what would you think of the eight right. most popular songs of, and from that Christmas channel? Sure. And I came up with five, eight of them that are very, very interesting well, that's stuff good. you have not heard over on the mix or right. some of the other places. Right. That, they do, yeah, that they oh, do that stuff. Um, for example, we have one song. That has turned out to be one of the prettiest songs. If you go to our Facebook page, you know, That 70s Channel and That Christmas Channel, become right. our friend, share it, you know, stuff like right. that. But on there this today, we uh, highlighted uh, Angels on the Realm in, with high, on high. Okay. With Peter Hollins, David Archuleta, and the Piano Guys. Okay. Now, you don't see these guys. Now, you hear them, you know of them from the YouTube Right. And on the internet, but right. you don't see them in the normal aspects. Right. This is probably one of the most beautiful Christmas songs that have ever been put wow. or ever recorded. I mean, wow. it's just gorgeous. Wow. wow that's and great. Uh, we play it exclusively. Nice. And uh, nice. Which is really, really cool. Nice. And then, uh, uh, as you all remember, a few years back, Gilly, Billy Gilman was on The Voice. Right. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I had, remember that. He was yeah. a real small kid. Well, he has a song called Warm and Fuzzy. Okay. Okay, and that's kind of and racing the, up the Christmas charts, right? Well, no, it's it was when he was a little kid. When just, oh, it's like, when yeah. he was little. Oh, I thought it was something that and he had he, done now. When he did his first song when he was like twelve yeah, or when 13. he had that hit. Yeah, yeah, yeah one voice. Yeah, that, like that was it. Yeah. That was it. Yeah. And uh, but we play warm and fuzzy, and nobody else plays warm and fuzzy. Right, right. It's the warm and fuzzy time of the year. <laughs> that's right. So that Christmas channel is where you can get all your Christmas music. Exactly. And that seventies channel is where you can get all your seventies music. And Live 365, we're right there on the app as the editor's choice, which I, I think is it's, phenomenal. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And so uh, that's easy to find. Also available on TuneIn. And, of course, you can go to the website for more details as exactly. well. Exactly. Yeah. Well, Bud, thanks for letting me be part of the team. Thank you and, very much, uh, Rex. I, I hope you drop by the podcast again. We have a lot of fun here. Oh, uh, yeah, we can talk about something else. Yeah, exactly. We got other things to talk about. We can about. talk about radio. Radio is really fun. You know, something we're going to kick off, and, and J.D. Chandler is going to come back, is we're going to, I'm going to get a feature going, and it's going to be like old radio stories. 
right? Oh. So, and so, I, you know, I figured that'll give me an excuse to talk to some of my old radio buddies and talk about some of the stations that we worked at and uh, all that. And, and you're invited to the party. Oh, I would love to. And don't <laughs> for, And speaking of parties, don't forget Saturday nights. Yeah, yeah that's right. Exactly. Yeah. Saturday nights on That 70s Channel, we have a, a, a show called Studio B. Studio B. It's the biggest yeah. party on the planet. Right. We right. have three, two, two live stages. Right. A big bar. Um, uh, a, uh, a snack bar. Yeah, it's great. It's um, great. And um, you're invited. Yeah, and plenty Saturday of social night. distancing for everyone. Oh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Exactly. Yeah. But a lot of fun. All the, lots of disco hits yeah. and all that. Saturday stuff. night, 7 to midnight. So uh, just crank that up on your yeah. on your phone. Remember, put the app on your phone, Live 365. We're right there. Exactly. Tune in. It's on the Tune In app, but you got to do a little more searching for it where it's right on top of the Live 365 app. And I have some great radio stories to tell i know you do i know you do so bud will be coming back to hang out with us on the rec show podcast thanks so much for dropping by we'll catch you next time merry christmas